I want to give you a really quick little walk through the Halcyon Days collection. It's one of my collaborations with Creative Expressions and Cosmic Shimmer. First up, I'll show you the Creative Paper Pad. Now, it's actually not a pad that's gummed together. Uh, it's better if the sheets were single in this case. Beautiful quality paper, vibrant print as you can see. It's fine enough for collaging, but robust enough to cut out, die cut and do all of your other fun things that you might like to do with beautiful papers. You can make them into cards, use them on cards. I'm probably going, well, I have been using them for collage and they're just really gorgeous. So lots of different designs in here with beautiful colors. Having access to fabulous papers that's in good quality is always a wonderful thing to have in your stash. The next thing are the new washi sets. There's three tapes in each of the set and the colors and how they turned out is just so beautiful. So there's Imagine, which is the pink box, Dreamer, which is more of the turquoise colors. And like I said, there's three different tapes in each set and they coordinate back with the papers and with other ele elements in the collection. So if you've never seen washi tape before, it's just a Japanese name that refers to the type of paper that is used for it. Originally, they were created for packaging and for making gifts look beautiful. So it's easily removable, but it still sticks and holds things together until you want it not to. And I love to use washi tapes for all sorts of things, especially in altered books. For instance, you can use it like I have here in the gutter to stick in or fasten in a new page. This is called a tip in. You can also use it just as a collage or decorative element in and of itself, just to help tie different pages together and use it as a ready to go collage piece. I also love to use washi tapes, especially on delicate vintage papers like I've got here. And sometimes they get a little bit ratty or torn at the bottom. I add it onto the bottoms of the pages and that just adds a little bit of strength and also some color and some beauty to the page. Now there's also some absolutely gorgeous stamps before we get to those. How cute are the boxes? I designed these so of course there's color everywhere including my hands. Okay <laughs> so the artwork on the stamp sets isn't to scale. So the free-flowing stamps are bigger than they appear there. Lots on their mind has four beautiful faces that you can come in. I've been using them for swatching so much. So those ones are called Lots on Their Mind. I love Dear Me set with the little deers. The whimsical watercolors. These stamps match back with the actual watercolor set, the whimsical watercolor palette. And the Dreamtime, I love that girl, she's beautiful. But the Heart Supplies uh, stamp set I have been using so much. They uh, replicate my actual art supplies. So we've got the Creative Juice type of bottle, the Muse, the Layer Cakes, the Whimsical Watercolors. But there are also some generic ones there as well. So much fun for swatching. And the two Starlet sets also match back to the paper doll set from my last collection my collab collection with creative expressions so that you can add these hollywood faces to the paper dolls as well there's just so many fun layers to this whole collection there's also the watercolor gessos uh, and as soon as i got my first sample after we worked on the formula of that watercolor gesso I said I need a bigger tub because I'm just going to go through this too quick it's just so fantastic so there's two sizes there's also a new larger size of the matte meaty yum which again I just go through that's the gorgeous whimsical watercolor palette the halcyon days palette it's just that nostalgia for beautiful sunny days and now let's look at the stencils so these are the head turn stencils we have chin up we have chin down 
<laughs> a three-quarter turn and a tilted turn. So let's look in the top secret book. Oh, I've got to hide a few things. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me find the page. Okay. <laughs> this is the Star Fairy stencil in action. Uh, what I love about stencils is they're completely reversible and you can just use parts of the stencil, all of the stencil. So for instance, if you had trouble drawing hair, you've got hair here and you might want to draw your own face in there. So that's one fun thing. And the star power stencils marry back to the star power stamps. Oh, and sorry, the starlets stamps. And these also marry back to the star power inks, which are all named for beautiful starlets because these inks just shine for the gods. So this is an example of how I've been using the, stamp, the sorry, stamps and the stencils together. You can spray through them and then once you've got ink all over the stencil, you can put that on the page as well so you can get the reverse. And like I said, if you've got have a little bit of trouble creating hair, which a lot of people do, uh, there's the hairs. They're done for you and you can just add in your own little faces. On this example, I've put some lace down and the stencil and I've sprayed through it to get a more textured effect. And it's just, uh, you're going to think of so many other ways uh, to use this as well. Here are some examples of the heart supply stamps and the swatching that I've uh, created in the way that I, some of the ways I thought people could use them. I have actually cut mine apart so that I can use the individual elements. So brush by brush or um, little paint tube by paint tube. And then I can do my swatching as if it is coming out of each of those little examples. And here again is my little swatch book for the Pigments of Imagination, which was a new ink set that has 24 colors. And I just set this up in a little journal made of watercolor paper and just had the stamps on the block and just repeated the stamps on each page. And it just allowed me a really fun way of learning the colors and learning those art supplies. Here's another example of that of the stencil, the Star Power stencils. This is where I've got ink all over the stencil having sprayed through it and I've sprayed water over it again just to make sure all of the juices and watercolors are nice and inky and splotchy and then have put that down on the page to get a reverse image print. I can come back later and put the stamped faces on them or I could draw the little faces in or do a combination. <laughs> of whatever you like um when i've got the brand new stamps of course it's better to test them on a piece of paper but I, i've kept the test because i just love all those faces to get it's like a starry crowd this is the one of the versions of the three-quarter face uh here which is stencils are a really good way of learning how to do these more complex poses uh of the face the tilted up the tilted down and the turn and the looking down so that's why we've got those starting to happen here and here are some examples of the new stamps this is me creating the artwork that is on the stamp packets themselves and of course I used star power ink you can see it glistening there I think my favorite little face looking at them now is Josephine but maybe that's just because I adore Josephine Baker. But look at Faye's hair. Look at Marilyn. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, that star power ink is absolutely gorgeous. And for the face, I've used watercolor. Uh, there's a beautiful um, color in the color library called Painted Veil vale and uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth and... Um, they're the colors that I've used for the faces and just even the test sheet with all of the faces just stamped one on top of the other over the other the other it's kind of fun uh, there they are stamped out and stamps are a lot of fun because they're just another way of auditioning ideas and having fun and I love that little parrot drawing mm. uh, they are all of the little drawings from the watercolor palette so they all reflect the name. So they're a really nice way of 
swatching those colors but also they're just happy joyful images I love having the combination of the small stamps and these larger stamps because they allow this really does allow you lots of coloring room and adding the color and if we're buying stamps that's kind of really what we're doing but I also love the small ones because we can get so much detail in them as well I think my favorite's the little bird in the nest from the whimsical watercolor stamp set I just have to show you those washi tapes once again they're just so beautiful and they really encapsulate the joy that I wanted to infuse this entire collection with. Uh, the starting point was the whimsical watercolours, which always the starting for, <laughs> point for me is colour. And if it can be watercolour, well, yeah, of course. And uh, naturally, everything in the collection works with everything else that I've done because for me uh, things must mix and match and support each other because otherwise it gets in the way of your creativity when you are creating we just don't have infinite time and I know you're probably like me I've got to fit my creative time into everything else that I have to do and I don't want my art supplies and my a, stash of stuff telling me what to do I want it to just work smoothly so that I can have fun and release those uh, creative vibes and just feel like myself and I need to be able to dive into that as quickly as possible so I've already got a little sketch here I think this was from another love uh, love stream and it's um, probably the water ones I think which are the watercolor pencils and I've got lots of open space on the left hand side of the page so I've popped down the, one of the new stencils and I'm drawing through it with the new brush with fame paint over pen so these are a non-shake paint marker and I didn't put in the detail of her eyes her pupils even though they exist on the stencil because I wanted her to look back at the other characters because as soon as you've got more than one subject on the page you've got a story so who are these other girls why is, has one got pink skin and one has a great big blue splodge on her face how does that relate to the face that I'm creating are they just sketches that have nothing to do with each other or is this girl dreaming of something that was said or something that happened or thinking about the past or thinking about the future uh, uh, is she a giant and these are <laughs> people talking about how giant she is these are the things that go through my mind as I'm art journaling and I'm winding and just having fun because an art journal is only for myself it's not for anyone else. I do enjoy sharing, creating it with you, uh, but it's it's really for me. It's just for fun. So that's just one of the uses of one of the pieces of the new Halcyon Days collection that consists of stamps, stencils, watercolour gesso, the new matte medium, and the washi tapes. Oh, and the beautiful papers lots of fun and creativity and like I said everything can be used and married back to all of the other creations from my other collections you can find everything that I've shown you at janedavenport.com and my collaborative collection with creative expressions and cosmic shimmer at anywhere where they are stocked